What is going on guys, it is Zigzag here and welcome back to another tier list video. Now we already did the countries of the world, but I thought why not the bollards? The bollards are much more interesting. So today I'm bringing you a list of 20 bollards from around the GeoGuessr universe and uh, we are going to be rating them in order of aesthetics. So hopefully I won't take anything into else into account. I like it when people make a tier list video and they make it clear what they're rating it on. So this is just going to be based on aesthetics. Here are all the bollards and I'm just going to be rating them. Took me a while to compile these images. Some of them I did myself, some of them are from GeoTips. Uh, but let's get into it in alphabetical order. So we have Argentina first off the bat. Now Argentina's one, you can see it's like kind of thick, it's kind of like bollard shaped, but it's really a highway marker, uh, and I'm just going to have to let it pass here. It's, 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 it's okay looking, um, it's not really a bollard, but I put it on here anyway, so I'm not going to let it fail, uh, but I don't mind the way it looks, like it's, it, it's fine the way it looks, and um, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Next up, we have Australia. And as much as I am a, a patriot of my country, I must say the bollard is kind of boring. It's it's fine. I'm going to put it on B. Um, it looks good, but it doesn't look great. And I will say with Belgium, I actually kind of prefer the yellow look. Um, so the Belgium one, and I think they use the, them in the Netherlands too, but uh, I'll say the Belgium one um, will come in just before Australia in the B tier. Bhutan's one... Is pretty cool. I mean, like, obviously, like, so iconic. Whenever you see these uh, metal bricks on the side of the road, these metal... Well, these ones are really our bollards. The rest are kind of roadside reflectors. These ones are the real bollards, you know? Uh, and I think they look great. They they match the scenery of Bhutan really nicely, and I think they look pretty good. So I'm going to put them up in the first A. Now, it might be a lower A, um, but we'll just have to see. So Cambodian bollards, I think, look great. Um, they're like really like shiny and especially when they're newly painted, they look awesome and they're kind of like they're kind of like pyramid shaped at the top and um, I don't know, they're just, they're just really nice and they don't use them too much over there so if I could give a message to the uh, Cambodian government it's that they should uh, start using them but uh, yeah, I'm going to put it up in S tier and I, I think it's the first S of the day for sure Alright, so next up we got the Canadian bollard it's uh, the one found out in Alberta and I think maybe Northwestern Territories as well and uh, I think it's good. I'm not so much of a fan of um, thin bollards, as you might see in this video. Not so much a fan. So if I had to say with Canada, um, it's probably C. It's probably it's probably just above the um, just above the Argentinian one there. I would say. Oh yeah, and also there's a link for this uh, in the description. If you want to make a video using this um, tier list that I made, then uh, feel free to go and do so. And um, yeah, and also I didn't pick all the countries, but um, just the ones that I thought looked interesting. Um, so sorry if I missed yours. Anyway, so we're onto the Czech slash Slovak one here, and I like it. I have to say I do like it. Um, I don't think it's. Um, I don't think it is like I. I I don't think I mind the double orange, which is on the right-hand side of the road there. Um, and I'm thinking it probably is a little bit better than the Belgian and Aussie ones. Uh, maybe a controversial pick, but uh, I think I do slightly prefer it. It's nice and proportional. I do like the black stripe on uh, European bollards in general. The Danish one, I think is okay. Um, it's it's kind of odd looking. It has like the orange strip and then the uh, orangish, yellowish reflector, and then the white. I think it's. I think it looks interesting. I don't think I love it though. So I'm gonna put it like at the top of maybe maybe second in the C tier. I think. I think that's fair. Um, it, it it's it is interesting looking, but just not my favorite. All right, Ecuador. Ecuador's interesting, guys. The double reflectors all around the country. They use a bunch of different bollards. This is only one of them, but uh, yeah, all different kinds of double reflectors that they have going on, and I. I'm not particularly a fan, I have to say. Not particularly a fan. This one is probably the best of them. I, I've given it the best deal, but uh, I have to say, like, the double reflectors just look odd to me. So it's going to be the bottom of C tier. I really think bottom of C tier is pretty fair. Uh, okay, onto the Estonian bollards. These ones are quite round, and they have a light orange reflector. And uh, pretty standard. I, I try not to do too many of the uh, just normal European bollards because they all look quite similar. Uh, but uh, this one I think is just good. And I do like the black strip, so I'm going to put it um, in B tier behind the Czech one. Okay, onto the Faroe Islands. The Faroe Islands ones 
the one is insanely cute. It's like it's like a it's like what like a meat. It's less than a, a few feet tall, and um, I just I don't know. I just like it. It looks like a little like Among Us character or something, Among Us. Uh, but <laughs> but I like it. it. It's 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 really funny looking, and um, I just like it. It's it's going up there with um, Bhutan. It's super unique. And I think it beats out all, like, the standard ones, in my opinion. The French one is super iconic, right? Um, it's nice and big, and, um, it's, like, it's, it, it goes against the grain. It doesn't, it's not flat-shaped, it's completely round, and I, I think it's cool. Um, I, I'm gonna give it an A, um, because I like it. It just complements the French, like, beautiful countryside as well. I think it's, I think it's gotta be an A. Um, and maybe it's gonna go the top of A tier, I think. Because I, I really do quite like it. All right, next up is Hungry. See, Hung Hungry's bollard is interesting because the reflector is almost halfway down. They've really opted for um, like an interesting proportion compared to the rest of the bollard. So you can see the reflector is normally near the top, and so I think it makes the Hungarian bollard stand out. It makes it look a bit weird to me, um, but I still think it looks good, and I do like the red reflector as well. So I'm gonna put it in the bottom of B tier. Um, just because it is a bit odd. Now, this might come as a surprise because it's a very useful tip for GeoGuessr, but I don't really like the way the Icelandic bollard looks. It's kind of odd, like, why the whole thing yellow and then the, like, kind of white reflector? I, I, I think the white poles just look much better, in my opinion. Now, I'm debating in, put, in putting this in the D, even. Um, it's got to be D or C for me. I'm just looking at the rest of the bollards, and I think... I think for me it is the first D of the day. Now I don't hate it, but I just think it'll look better if it was white. And to be honest, when it stacks up against all these other white bollards, it, it it's just better. The Faroe Islands one has better proportions. It might be yellow, but it's tiny and 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 it has better proportions. It suits it. I don't think this one suits. It. I think it should have just been a white bollard. Uh, but maybe that's to do with snow and stuff. I, I I'm not talking about practicality here. I'm just talking about aesthetics. Alright, so the Irish one is quite uncommon, I think. You don't really see this around the spot too much, but it is green, so that's really, like, obviously making me think, um, making me think St. Patrick's Day, making me think of Ireland, so that's, that's like, that's like one good thing about it, I would say. As for the aesthetics, it's kind of odd looking, I have to say, with the, uh, with the bands of colour, uh, but I don't mind it. I certainly don't mind it. I think it's gonna go in the B tier. Let me think now. Um, I probably, I probably prefer it to the Hungarian one, maybe not as much as the Australian one. I think that's where I'm going to put it. All right, the Italian slash Albanian one is quite interesting. Um, it does not have white at the top like most European bollards do instead. It opts for a full black cap and a big red reflector. So for me, it's interesting. I, I am not personally a big fan of the Italian bollard. I think it looks better when you have the white strip at the top, honestly. Hmm. It's got a big reflector. I do like big reflectors, but um, I'm going to have to put this below the Ecuadorian one, honestly. Uh, not my favorite. Really not my favorite. Likewise with the Japanese one, I have to say the Japanese one is kind of odd looking. Um, I think they use these in Taiwan as well. Like, they've just got like a big... I mean, it's like a, it must be very practical with this big metal reflector on it. Um, but, like, the, the, the top being bigger than, like, the, uh, length, it kind of looks like the, like, the Pixar, um, light that, like, goes and crushes the eye in Pixar. But, uh, I don't really like it. I have to say, I don't really like it. I think it's, I think it's better than the Icelandic bollard. Um, but really not my favourite. And Japan's a beautiful country. Um, I wish they had kind of nicer looking bollards. Maybe, maybe people will disagree with me on this one, I feel like. Because it is unique. It's just not my favourite. Um, as for Latvia, Latvia is kind of the same deal as Estonia, except it's completely flat. It's a flat pole, and I don't really like the way the flat pole looks. I think it's much better if it's, like, made of wood or something a bit more 3D. The flat metal poles, not exactly my favourite. I mean, like, I think, um, Belgium and Australia kind of also use the flat pole kind of formula, but theirs are a bit more substantial. The, um, the, um, Latvian ones are really thin, so I'm going to put it at the top of C tier. Uh, there we go. Alright, the, the, the Lesotho Bollard is quite nice looking. I mean, you don't ever really see this. I think I just found it on GeoTips. I was just looking through. I don't think I've ever seen this in a round or even so very rarely. Um, but it looks nice. I like the black base. And again, like you can tell I really like these like kind of like um, pyramid top bollards. I've, they've definitely scored well on this. And uh, yeah, again, I like this one a lot. 
I have to say. So Lesotho is going to the the bottom of A tier, I have to say. And I, it's even better than the Faroe Islands, in my opinion. It's quite a nice looking bowler. Um, next up is the Mexican one. The Mexican one, one is has a black base. It has a white reflector around it, and it's nice and rounded. And I think it's I think it's a cool bowler, honestly. I I I think it's kind of understated because it's pretty small. They're they're only they're, they're not much bigger than the Faroe Islands one. It's almost almost I reckon. But uh, they are good looking. I have to say, I'm going to put them up in the A tier as well. It's another A tier. Um, some of the obscure countries coming out in A tier, they should use these bollards more often because a lot of these ones don't get used. Um, next up, we are with the Mongolian bollard. This one kind of looks like a bowling pin. Uh, I think it looks good, but strange. Like, it's interesting how it's like so thick at the bottom and then it just gets thin. It's like, well, you could have just gone with the French model and had it thick all the way up, but I mean, what can you really say? It's, it's, it's decent. It's decent. I like it. Um, it's probably going to go, it's probably going to go above the, I'm going to put it between the Australian and the Belgian. I think that's where it des deserves to be. It's, it's, it's cool. Um, and strange. And I think it looks good overall. All right. Now we're looking at the Montenegrin, kind of the Austrian and, um, or else they use it, kind of Serbia as well. A bunch of different countries use this black top bollard. And uh, I think it looks kind of cool. I actually, I am kind of torn about whether I actually like it better than Australia or not, honestly. Um, hard to say. I don't really know. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to put it with the Aussie one. Maybe just behind. But these ones, well, maybe just in front. Because I think the uh, black top is kind of iconic. And it does look good on the roadside, in my opinion. It really does. Um, so that's where it's going to be. All right, next up is New Zealand. I have a kind of a washed out photo here. Maybe could have chosen a better one. But uh, New Zealand is another one of these flat pole countries. Uh, thin poles, which I don't really like so much. But I do like the kind of like black strip with the white reflector over it. That's why it looks like it's completely white down the middle. I think it looks kind of good. Um, I certainly don't mind it. Uh, for the New Zealand one, I'm thinking it's going to be like the top of C tier. I think I prefer it to the Latvian, probably prefer it to the Canadian. Um, and it's decent compared to these ones, I think. Like, it, it doesn't quite measure up. Probably, no, you know what? It probably is better than the Hungarian one, I'll say. Um, probably not as good as the uh, Irish one. That's just what I'm feeling right now. The uh, Scandinavian, like, um, one that's typical of Norway is kind of ugly, in my opinion. Like, I would just prefer if the black strip went the whole way around. Instead, it's, like, kind of awkwardly sitting in the middle, and it's like this... It's like a, uh, it's a diagonal line there, you can see, but the bolt, the uh, reflector is perfectly straight, so it just looks strange, in my opinion. Um, so, I don't know, it's, it's definitely C or D. It's definitely C or D. Let me think now. I think I, I think I'm going to put it, um, uh, before the Italian one, uh, but after the Ecuadorian one. I think that's only fair. It's not, it's not a particularly good-looking bollard, in my opinion. Beautiful country. Uh, Norway is, but uh, they're letting it down in the bollard department. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, next up is Peru. Uh, Peru has a cool bollard. Um, it fits like the aesthetic of all their like road, um, their road signs and stuff, where they have a lot of black and yellow going on, a lot of black and yellow paints on poles and on roadsides. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, the bollard itself looks nice. I have to say, it's short. It's got a black strip and the yellow strip and a white reflector on it. And I'm gonna say it is. Um, you know, the bottom of A tier. I think it's got to be the bottom of A tier. Uh, it looks nice. Um, certainly looks nice. Um, but I don't think it's substantial enough to compare to the others. And also, it's not as cute as the Faroe Islands one as either. So it's like, kind of like, it kind of like plays the middle ground and loses out a bit. But it's still an A tier bollard. Poland, uh, the Poland bollard, you may be surprised by this, but I love the Poland bollard. In fact... At the moment, it's the top of S. I think the way it looks is it's it's very similar to the New Zealand one. You've noticed you know you'll have noticed that I put it at the bottom of B tier, but the the Poland one is thicker and and it just looks cool. Uh, I like the writing on it and I like the vibrancy of the red reflector. I think the Polish bollard may be my favorite in in the world, honestly. And it's just it just looks really nice on the roadside. I think I think like. I'm always happy to see Poland when I see this bollard. So, um, yeah, it's it's up there with Cambodia. Probably I prefer it. All right, next up is 
uh, South Korea. Now, I don't think I've actually ever been in game and seen this bollard being used, but the South Korean bollard is good. Um, I like it, and um, I, yeah, I found this on Geotips. I don't think I've actually ever um, seen it in game, but look at it. It's got the yellow reflector. Um, and it's got the black strip, and it looks very Asian. It's kind of cool like that. Um, I just wish the black wrapped around, or it wasn't so angular. It kind of suffers from the same fate as the Norwegian bollard, but it looks a lot cooler, um, because it's got, like, the black base, and I don't know, it looks looks quite nice. So, for that reason, I think I'm going to put it, like, high in the A tier. It, it would have been an S tier contender if the black wrapped around it, and if it was slightly differently proportioned. Wasn't that yellow strip in the middle? I just think, like, the details like that look look quite nice, um, but, um, yeah, actually, we've got a perfect distribution right now, every, uh, every category is completely even, not, it's not planned, but, um, pretty cool. Alright, next up is Thailand, and Indonesia uses similar ones, I know, and it's kind of boring, um, it, it doesn't look fantastic to me, it's kind of like a little totem pole or something, I don't know, it's not quite right, but, um, yeah, I don't really like it that much, I think it's okay, um, I'm gonna put it like uh, behind Canada. Um, it looks it looks good. It looks better than these ones, to be honest. But uh, it's not much to write home about. It gets a pass. Um, the Turkish one is like the Australian uh, Bollard's little brother. It's got a shorter reflector and it's shorter in stature. And for that reason, I'm gonna place it. Um, it it moves down a category. I have to say, I don't I don't really like it compared to the Australian one. Um, it's just it's just a little bit worse. But um, it's still cool. It's still it's still not bad. Like. It's still, like, sitting with some decent ones, at least, you know? Uh, the Ukrainian one is kind of ugly, I have to say. Um, a lot of the Russian and Ukrainian ones kind of lacking. Um, I didn't put any Russian on this. I could do a part two for all the ones I missed out, but, um... Yeah, the Ukrainian one's kind of a bit odd. Like, it's just the black strip. Again, it doesn't go the whole way around. It kind of looks like the South Korean one, but without any of the cool features that the South Korean one has. Um, I still prefer it to Iceland and Japan without a doubt, um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to put it at the bottom, at the top of D tier, so, you can see these ones all kind of plain, or a bit odd looking, in my opinion, and then finally, the United Kingdom, and now, I haven't even considered where I'm going to put this yet, I definitely prefer it to the Italian one, it's a similar look, but, uh, the black strip at the bottom definitely means that it looks a bit more even, whereas the, um, Italian one looks a bit lopsided, in my opinion, um, where am I going to put it exactly? I think... I think the UK bollard will go... I think I think it's like... I think it's worse than the Irish bollard. Probably worse than the New Zealand bollard as well, but maybe better than the Hungarian. Okay. So, I'm pretty happy with that tier list. Um, yeah, so obviously there's a bunch of countries I didn't... Um, get in there, so I could do a part two, but I tried to pick all the interesting one looking ones, so part two would probably be a bit less interesting. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to uh, make your own, link will be first thing in the description, and I really hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, thank you for all the support recently, and I will be continuing to make good videos, so do like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again soon for another one. But uh, yeah, peace guys.